Hi everyone, we're going to use the pH stat add-in to conduct a one-way ANOVA on the cat food data that we have in question 11.13. So a pet food company has a business objective of expanding its product line beyond its current kidney and shrimp based cat food. The company developed two new products, one based on chicken liver and the other based on salmon. The company conducted an experiment to compare the two new products with its two existing ones, as well as a generic beef-based product sold at a supermarket chain. For the experiment, a sample of 50 cats from the population at a local animal shelter was selected. Ten cats were randomly assigned to each of the five products being tested. Each of the cats was then presented with three ounces of the selected food in a dish at feeding time. The researchers defined the variables to be measured as the number of ounces of food that the cat consumed within a 10 minute interval that began when the filled dish was presented. The results of this experiment are summarized in the table in CAT. So let's have a look at the data. We have five different columns with the different foods and then we have 10 different cats for each one. Go ahead and do a one way and over. Part A says that the 0.05 level of significance is the evidence of a difference in the mean amount of food eaten among the various products. pH stat, multiple sample tests, one way and over. So under the null, there's no difference. And under the alternative, there is a difference. So let's see what our F test says. So we have an observed F statistic of 20.8, our critical value with four numerator degrees of freedom and 45 denominator degrees of freedom is 2.5787. So we're able to reject the null and say that there is a difference in the means for the different cat foods. Now part B says, if appropriate, determine which products appear to differ significantly in the mean amount of food eaten. In order to do this, we have to go back to our one way and over, but this time we want the Tukey Kramer procedure so we can see which actually differ. It's going to prompt you for the Q statistic. If you go back to the slides, you'll see that the Q statistic can be found from the table in appendix E7. We're going to hit OK. So if we go to that table with four numerators, and 45 denominator degrees of freedom going to look at a value of 3.79 so let's put that in there you can see the critical range appeared automatically and we can see which means differ and which don't part c says at the 0.05 level of significance is there evidence of a difference in the variation in the amount of food eaten among various products. So because we're talking about variation, we're talking about variance and standard deviation. So that tells us that we need Levine's test. So let's go to data, pH stat, and we need Levine's test. So it says 0.05 level of significance. We'll highlight the data. First cells do contain a label. So we can see here we have a p-value of 0.0947. At the 0.05 level of significance, we fail to reject the null, so we can assume that the variances for the five different cat foods are equal. Since the p-value is 0.0947, which exceeds 0.05, you do not reject the null. There's not enough evidence to conclude that there's a significant difference in the variation in the amount of food eaten among the various products. Part D asks, what should the pet food company conclude? Fully describe the pet food company's options with respect to the product. We go back to the Tukey Kramer, or the pet food company should conclude that the mean amount of cat food eaten for the kidney-based, shrimp-based, and chicken liver-based products are not significantly different from each other, but are significantly higher than the salmon-based products and the mean amount eaten for salmon-based products is significantly higher than that for beef-based products.